Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Romans chapter 12, verses 18 through 21. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. And if he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Scripture calls those of us who are believers to encourage, help, and get along with others. But most of us know at least one person with whom we have more conflict than comfort. Discord can take many forms. Personalities may not mesh. Different belief systems can lead to arguments, and words or actions might be misunderstood. But through the Lord, almost any difference can be overcome. Living in submission to Jesus creates a channel by which His goodness and grace can flow through us and create harmony. First, when we make a habit of lifting up the other person in prayer, divine grace becomes part of the situation. Next, if the Lord allows us to pursue uncovering the source of the conflict, we must seek the Holy Spirit's wisdom, being willing to share our concerns and listening to the other's point of view. This means honestly discussing the issue, whether a past wound, incorrect assumption, or unhealthy thought pattern. And sometimes working through this step requires enlisting the aid of a godly counselor. Finally, once the root issue is known, reconciliation requires that both parties submit to Christ in order to cooperate in restoring harmony and maintaining it by agreeing to confront new issues as needed. God desires that believers live in peace, but He knows we can't achieve this on our own. That's why He gave us a helper, the Holy Spirit, through whom we can attain unity and be bound together in peace.